So what is this thing? It's a triangle, obviously. Um, this is foam. This is the grid structure uh, that I've been prototyping for building curved roofs. Uh, this is a number two foam. I mean, it's a pretty strong, dense foam. Um, <clears throat> and uh, this is what I was doing here is seeing, I'm attempting to just get a sense of how it, if you filled up this grid structure with foam, um, how, what does that do? And it, as I suspected, it, it really tightens up the grid structure, makes it very strong and um, and sturdy. Um, this is about a, I would guess, about a one third scale of the actual roof structure. So, um, be almost maybe a foot in depth for a northern climate. This is about two and a half, three inches. Um, and um, this in, in the full size would be half inch plywood or maybe even three quarter inch plywood. This would be a steel tube. This would be a steel hanger. Um, I covered this in a previous video about this uh, approach to roofing. Um, what I need to work on now is, is something that would go over the foam and would be a little more dense. Um, really what I'm looking for is something of the density of, of the casing of this walnut. Um, I'm, believe it or not, I'm looking at um, a type of paper mache that uses um, uh, cellulose insulation um, and glue. Uh, and I have to do some experiments with it, but I'm hoping that it will, that it will create a denser material that would be go over this surface would allow you to adjust the curve to make a smoother curve um, and would be something that would grip nails or screws if you attach shingles or some other um, modular roofing material on top of this. So um, I'm very pleased with how strong this is. And uh, <clears throat> we'll be doing some more experiments with the foam. It's, it's a little tricky to deal with, as you can see. It expanded more than I thought it would here. But, um, you know, as I play with it more, I'll become better able to control it. So that's the latest in my efforts to um, develop a curved roofing system.